Hello everyone, me phone here, and I'm Son of Beast. As you all know, that the season of the NBA is officially done for the year. Now it's time to step into the postseason and get started for the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Who will be heading to the second, the championship game of the conference, and in the NBA Finals? Find out. Once this game starts here in the first round, let's get started on 2K Sports. Hey y'all, it's test here. We're back for another NBA Playoffs. And this is the best thing that we are all about to see. You know what it's going to be coming down here for. The Cleveland Cavaliers and the New York Knicks are ready to rematch here again. And right now, New York Knicks are in the leading series of 2-1 over to Cleveland. Right now, they have never made it here that far in the playoffs here for the part of the game. As for this point, it is going to get very tough. And the situation might be able, it will happen to here with, again with the game. As you might be seeing, who will get the next bucket? Will they tie the series up here with, with a twos? Or will the New York Knicks extend the lead series a 3-1 over Cleveland and upset their game here in Game 5 if they're ready to go for the win? Well, as you may have just heard, it's going to be happening here right now at the Garden. Right now, standing by, we have this me phone along with the other crew of OJ. And he's right down here on the sideline here, report. And the third contestant of the game right now for the commentary as we will have is Nickel. I'll be back with the halftime show and find out what's going on here between the first half of the games. In the meantime, time to send you over to Garden. See you all later in the halftime show. And these are the starting lineups for the New York Knicks, Julius Randle and the other teams. We'll be right back after this. everyone and welcome to the NBA 2K Sports of the NBA Playoffs. Along with me right now at Nephon along with the second contestant OJ and Nickel. And right now on the sideline reporter we have this Ali LaForce here on the sideline. Ali. Well guys, dramatic progression for point guard Darius Garland. A rough rookie season, but last year he became an all-star. He said it's just trusting the work that he puts in every day. And while he's shooting a special, he said, quote, I'm an all-around point guard that gets my teammates involved. Brian? Hey, thank you so much, Ali. Darius Garland, ready to do it again. Oh man, everybody is pumped up right now. You know what, me phone? I am really excited to see what this game is going to happen now. If there was a player that they're ready to take the face off and go with the tip-off win, I'm thinking this one's going to be a fun matchup to have game four on the line and ready to go. Ah, the City Court of Edition is really that amazing. Improving to be everybody else's favorite game. But for as for long as being said here, as you compare it with the anime insanity, we've always been making the hero for this part of the game, but uh, sincerely, they're really not talking about the event. Right now with the starting groups here, right, right, fueled up, presented by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's Randall. He's covered up by Isaac Akura. Then it's Donovan Mitchell on Josh Hart. Mitchell Robinson here on, on the point four position on small forward for Evan Mobley. Julius Randall here on covered up here. RJ Barrett covered up by Allen. And it's Garland on Brunson. And finally, on the other hand on the outside, we call for Robinson and Mobley. And the first out of bounds has been called by Cap by the Knicks. It will be turned over to be Cavs ball. A little bit of defensive mistake here. The offense is not really putting up the pressure at least. When you can never expect it because of that one really has to happen. You can't be out of bounds at the same time. Yeah, very hard. Very tough one, to be honest. We don't want that either. On the outside of Cora for three. Good outside of range. And he has the first three-pointer in game four of the night. Yeah, as you know, that Isaac and Coro is just really that on, on effectively. They're really not showing here a lot of them. respectful. The moment it really is going out, out of in between zones. They've got to show it up. Brunson finding over his heart. With the layup scoop drive. 
Two pointer is good for Josh Hart. He's at his first bucket. Yeah, you can call that Josh Hart was definitely making a uh, layup call. They're really on a good one. And that is your mobile one drive for the for the Knicks. Here on the outside is Donovan Mitchell. Moving inside, the first foul is called on New York. As will be Josh Hart's first personal first team foul. Right now, Donovan Mitchell's on the free throw line shooting two. That's not the honor because you're not usually driving at that point. And Mitchell Robinson would be able to block that shot out. First free throw coming up here for the Cleveland Cavaliers with only 4.37 to go in the first period. He makes the first free throw. And you, you know that when Donovan Mitchell was really able to be precisely enough, he would have helped his team. They've got a lot of perspection to make that one play. A lot of focusing on the balancing and the currents. That skill really has to go with energy. A lot of momentum to give it all. Indeed, they have to. They really have to show things off again. And he makes the second free throw. And because you know that Donovan Mitchell was out there, they're really showing him off. Just a little bit. Here's RJ Barrett, picking up by Isaac Okoro. Now swing it over again to Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson now swing it over again to RJ Barrett. Moves it with a drive. Nice solid defense here by Jared Allen. Jared Allen is just like really like trying to pull up pull up on the run and taking a loose on the tight defenders. They're off the shots. They really are trying to get it in the way. Screen on Allen. In the middle, Mitchell. And a floater will cash in as Mitchell has his second bucket of the night. For this season, it was only 28.3. At a period of his range, 21.9. Yeah, tough ones are really saying that. It's a very approachment to say it fast. For Donovan Mitchell, he was really out there. And, and, and you can't just like hurt him. It's very hard to go with the achievement on that goal. Or on the outside. Firing the reverse scoop. And no two-pointer luck here for Josh Hart. He misses the second one. And Allen, and two, six, and dunk. Right around here on Mitchell Robinson. Oh, ho, ho. watch out with that one. Jared Allen is really like trying to pick up a dunk up there. Runs it, finds over O.J. Barrett. Now he swings over across here to Josh Hart. Josh Hart swings to Brunson. With six on a shot clock, and shot to flick it up by ice by Evan Mobley. Free outside for Hart. And a first three-pointer can't make the free. That's very uh, hard for Josh Hart. He's not really regaining up in Mobley mana. Gotta get over this. Isaac Okoro makes a three-pointer. And that outside is a very uh, hard one to maintain its goal. That's a hard one to have possession to maintain its way. Brunson fighting over his Robinson. Moves over to Josh Hart. Hart moves over to Barry. Outside of three, Brunson. And three pointer, no good. Allen has another rebound here, as right now no points per game here. We're in the first period of the game. Here's Allen coming up by Mitchell Robinson. Try to get a pass to Mitchell for two. That two pointer misses the target. Josh Hart receives his first rebound of the game for the Knicks. All right now, here's Barrett finding Randall around Noisick, and good shot made for Julius Randall. This happened last night here with 38% here for the game here against Cleveland. That was happening here for the last part of the game that was out there for part of the game one. Yeah, that history was not really picking up the right on an offensive call. This really can't be happening because that was all of the turnout. I don't have any possession to say about this, but they really have to, they really have got to keep it going. Allen coming up at Robinson. Four on a shot clock. Got to get this target here. And Jerry Sterling will use the layup drive. That's Allen with the first assist of the night. First time out call by New York Knicks. With almost 90 seconds to go, it's a 14-4 lead. Going to need to talk this one over here because this is really that very impressive. And you see, because of this part of the game, you, you've got a lot of the, um, technology to maintain your goal. It's very uh, deletrating, and then this is what really has to happen. 
that's because of that everyone really needs. And you, you know, when you ever say about the other player, they really gotta like start start showing up. Donovan Mitchell was usually working on this. He did talk to his coach, and he says, May the players be all we have to succeed here, guys. Our team is our process. Whatever it takes is really gonna be a hard one to try to pull up the muscle. Whatever it takes with the shots, the passes, the skills of the defense and rebounds, and probably another one, the putbacks. They've got a lot of it to take over this one of the game, and they gotta really gotta start stepping it up again. And the Knicks on that side too, they've gotta start showing up. Some changes for the New York Knicks and for the Cavaliers. And right now, the new players are making new changes. Audie Toppins checked in, along with Derrick Rose. Bennett's Asa quickly. Then Hardenstein right toward the middle. And on the outside is Griggs. All five players are making new changes here for the Cavaliers. Right now, on the other hand, we have it's City Osmond. Then it's Danny Green towards the weight. And it's Desmond Wayne. Way, you know, towards the center of the outside. And Ricky Rubio. And finally, we have another way to call for Karis LeVert. Karis LeVert really wanted to make that play a lot more aggressive on this one. They really have shown things off here like they did. And up before, you never really see that coming. And good throw. Harden sign uses the backboard to pull the layup drive. Now he's got his first book in the game. New screen on outside, coming up by Griggs. 40 seconds left to play in the first period of the game. Rubio with nobody around, and a two-pointer will connect it from here for three. Right now, it's extension to 17 to 6 run for the Cavaliers. Here's Toppin. Oh! 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 That Toppin drive was like over around it. That's a slam dunk. What a play for Oni Toppin. Toppin just really gonna see that going. Lots of phase now. Oh! You could go below! City Osmond rebounding, rebound is lost. Quickly on the outside. Now to the Griggs. Looks over, and Osmond with this takeaway. Levert on the fast break, finding way. And a good feed here by Karis Levert. Now, Karis Levert was out there, putting up a pass here for Desmond Wayne. This really has to give somebody else a great, a great fed. And Rose's shot goes off. That will end the first quarter of the game. The Cavaliers are under a starting pursuit with their run. They have it up by eight. We'll get the quick break when we come back after this. And as we're about to be tuning here for the second period, right now it's a 19-8 score. This part of the game was a tremendous run. And you definitely have to say to yourself, because that's the part of the team you want to keep on going. All players are very not tough and aggressive, but you don't want to make any of the same opposing mistakes. That play was a very hard one to take. And yet, the same thing has to go with also. We've seen that Milwaukee Bucks are losing their team. And because of right now, Giannis Antetokounmpo here for a real game, he's hurt. And someone has to replace him with that game. And we don't know if the first seed are ever going to make it to the second round because the A seed could be a punch out to take out the real captain of the game. And the real Greek freak has already been down. So he's out and we are unsure how many games will the Bucks will win. It's going to be very hard to play without Giannis on the Kubo because we know he's already injured and we don't know what will happen. If the Heats keep on scoring, that's going to be it. Yeah, definitely true always. Got to get that call. Two shots. Quentin Grimms at the free throw line shooting two, and the foul is called on Isaac and Cora. We just started the second quarter right now on the board, and so right now Grimms is at the free throw line shooting two. Another New York Knicks going to make it another free throw percentage here for the game. Stop the clock at 5.30 to go. He makes the first free throw. Now with a new substitution changing here as the Cavaliers will make a new changeup. And Mitchell checks in for Karis LeBert. And we have Mitchell Robinson. He'll be checking in for Hardenstein. Across on the other side of it here as new players are making new changes. 
Why not RJ Barrett is checked in? Good for two for Bricks. He's got his first bucket in game four. That part of it knows, always knows what's the Grimm's feeling. Mitchell binding over his Okoro on the outside. Makes the move right towards the Allen. Allen swings up to Mobley. Mobley over to Okoro with a shot. It's stopped again as RJ Barrett will take a rebound. And you know that RJ Barrett was one of the better deliberations to play this game here with the Knicks. He's very an excellent player. We all have seen him when R.J. Barrett has good, and he can definitely be the next player to move on to the next level. Just for the shoot. Barrett on a drive with a two. And a solid defense here for, for Isaac Okoro. Cavaliers lead up by 11. Here's another pass for Mobley. Mobley on Randall. Takes a shot. That stops here for traffic right now over Julius Randle. And Mobley has a second, but the third bucket. That very hard one was a very driving into towards the middle in the rim. Very that unlucky credit to have that one in there that they were going for. Randle on the outside for three. Two point is no good on the three point mark. Garland on the outside. Passes to Mitchell. Four minutes to go in his second period of the game. alley -oop. Oh! Oh, it's like a coral! Made that slam dunk down. Oh, they were saying. Because Donovan Mitchell really had the high, the, had a better timing. Release this is not very optional. Not a choice. Randall for the two. He gets another miss here. And New York are having a little trouble to keep it over with the line. As right now, game three winner puts up a lead. But the Cavaliers may have a decision to give that one a go back in change. Well, they can't be losing it out there. Whoa! RJ Barrett! What a slam! And that's what you can't call here. You can't mess up an RJ Barrett. That drive is very in insane. That score is coming down here quick. Well done for RJ Barrett. That's a score on Barrett. Waits for the open passes to release. Now Garland on the outside, finding over Mitchell. The two-pointer is off the mark. Just another rebound here for the Grims, and right now a lot of rebounds putting up from New York. Brunson swinging over again to Barrett. Over again to Randall. Randall trying to make a new move here with a floppy set. Inside, Brunson. Good pass by Julius Randall. And Brunson has his first bucket. That's when you play, have that one and drive because that was a very good one. Well done. An amazing, uh, amazing communication feed for Julius Randall. Garland on Brunson. 2.25 left to go in the first half of the period. What a move around. Starting to get a little, little scrub bubbling here. Isaac Okoro with a two. The elbow no good as Julius Randall will take the rebound. Look, that's the second rebound. Yeah, that better player, that one has to be uh, a lot of precision to make that change. Right now we have a report from Ali the Force. As Tom Fibio it really is getting a lot of uh, attention work out there, just making the game out there more. And we we just heard that Tom Fibio was really up to a, one of the better plays up game. They're not really gonna try to like keep it focused up game. Because the Cavaliers, they really want to get back into this game. And they are ready for it. They have nowhere else to go, and they really got to get this thing done. That's very hard for them. To try to settle up with a scoop, it's not really going to happen that much more. And the tougher, the tougher enough for the better player, the head coach for the Cavaliers is very definite. The better symbol of the night. That troublemaking was really nothing to be prepared for. RJ Barrett hits the free throw. And you can't just say because RJ Barrett has a lot of it to take from its responsibility. We really need to start getting a lot of attention work out there to try to pull up the run. Almost slipped away. Rubio recovered his in here on the wing. Quickly on it. 
a screen, a spin around, and he's fouled. Oh, got a little wrist up again. RJ Barrow receives his first personal foul, and it'll be their first team foul for New York. Ricky Rubio just spinning it, and watch what he does. He went flunked. That's going to be really a little hurtful here for the painful look. Ow. And Ricky Rubio at the free throw line, shooting two, and number Cavaliers free throw percentage coming up for just under two minutes. Rubio makes the first free throw. And that's what you have to do because Ricky Rubio, he never wants to quit. He's got to stay focused on this game. It's hard, it goes right. Derek Rose checked in for. R.J. Barrett. And Rubio will get two free throws to the free throw line. New York trailing by 10. He goes right over to Oni Thomas. Thomas swinging over again to Hardenstein. Over to Rose. Right now, there is with quickly. Rose setting a three-pointer. Three pointer no good on the outside. They're having a hard time right now. They just need to find another way to get this thing done. It's not very really that possible. And he can't be losing it. They have nowhere else to try to reframe it. And he stepped out of bounds. That will go to the New York ball. And check out the tremendous block by Evan Mobley. Yeah, that Evan Mobley seems to be crazy out there. Park it out of here. My ball. Well, that's a very good, good, good defense with the struggle out there. If because of Isaac Okoro was saying that Evan Mobley was getting a good precision to get that blocking as starting a run, they really have studied things a lot. He's like, wow, perfection. Quickly around Wade. Good D by Wade. Here's Karis LeVert. Hasn't scored yet for the period. We'll take the pass to Osmond for the baseline. And two-pointer is no good for a city Osmond. And a part of it now, rebound comes in for the New York Knicks. Swings off to Rose. Finds over Toppin. Toppin swinging over again to Hart. 35 seconds. Here's Rose. In the middle. It's good. Derek Rose with his first bucket. And right now, Hart with the assist. That was giving up a great run for the communication here. Derek Rose, you could feel that when that was a better play drive than you have. Oh, block the shot by Hardenstein. That's a great play here for the New York defense. And now we'll stay over to the Cavs ball. 19.4 seconds. Looks the pass to Green to LeVert. 15 seconds in the corner. Quickly on him. Try to keep in motion. Time ticking down. No two. And quickly. Will he get it? No, he does not make it. That will end the first half of the game. Cleveland on a great start, 27-19. And Ryan over to Knicks. Now it's time to send you over to Allie LaForce. Allie? I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. Coach, I saw you getting into your team. What's been the problem? All right, here, Allie. Thank you very much. Second half about to begin when we come back after the halftime show. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the part of the first half of the game. Well, it's been a very, uh, very, like, a quite out of range site. But, we'll see how this one goes for the first half of the game. Cavaliers on a great start in the first half of the period. They just have that one lead up by 18. And then it was a 27 to 19 score over the Knicks. Let's start off with the Cavaliers. They've never made it to the playoffs that far since 2018 was the last one that they made. And because of this game, what's happened? And last part of the game, you notice that every team was all again. Looking for an all rebounds for tonight. And for the New York Knicks, they're really starting to get a little slowdown out of here. Very focusable on this game, is more intentional to, to making the tense game matchup. They have no other rights to do this. Well, 
let's find out if this happens again. I want to see what they can do. New York Knicks, go for extension lead series, probably. We'll see. And that's going to wrap it up for the halftime show. Now it's time to send you down to Meek Phone and a crew. See you all later. Post game show will be up after the fourth period. Welcome back to the Madison Square Garden of the New York of the Mink Manhattan. Right now, as is part of a game, it's been a tremendous night. As right now, the Cavaliers have already made a great start with the extension run of the series in the first period. And second period as also. And right now, we are ready to get things started with a second that half of the period. All filled up, and we are ready to go. Donovan Mitchell is covered up here by Josh Hart. Then it's R.J. Barrett on Isaac Okora. Brunson is on Darius Garland. Then across from here, we have Evan Mobley on Julius Randle. And Mitchell Robinson on Jared Allen. The part of the game right now, here's Brunson. Make a try. And he went mumbling down right towards Jared Allen. That's his first foul with the block. Right now, free throws coming up here for our Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson, when that drive is just going right towards the whip. I mean, he was going to go with the one hand with the floater inbound. I just really didn't see, because of this one, it was a very hard one to make success. Yeah, I must say that Jalen Brunson, he's got a good eye contact. We're going to have to start focusing on this one, if he's ready to go with the next step. He hits the first free throw. Jalen Brunson was definitely one of the point guard positions that were really out there maintaining this run. Yeah, I must say, Jalen Brunson was really that tough one to maintain. The scoring is a drought, the ability with a successful range. I mean, what is the figure? All you can't say is that Jalen Brunson, what in the world are you happening to you? What in the world is going on with you? You just gotta know that Jalen Brunson was one of the better point guard positions. Uh, rather than the uh, the other point guard positions, because that's not happening. And a great pass here. Allen makes a layup. An assist from Darius Garland. Darius Garland on a quick pass. I mean, that's very that tough. Screen coming from Mitchell Robinson. In the middle, Robinson with a one hand dunk. Oh, Mitchell Robinson. You gotta start slamming it for more, please. <laughs> I know that you're gonna make that one out there. Nicole, how could you? Well, Mitchell Robinson is a yet better favor. Oh, let's do this one again. Mitchell making a great drive. And a pass here coming towards the mark. They're just catching it ahead to try to catch their breaths. Here on the other side right now, Mitchell Robinson. Robinson swinging over to Hart. All right, in the middle, foul, and one! And he makes a second bucket for Judge Hart. The foul is called on Jared Allen. Right now, that's a second personal foul, and second team foul for Cleveland. Josh Hart, you really have to show what he was making that one in there. In a drive, and make it in there with a layup, that's a play! Oh, that's a great communication there. What a great sportsmanship. How excellent is that? They really showed it. Josh Hart, go get it, buddy. One free throw coming up here for Josh Hart with only 4.29 to go. And Allen received it in two fouls. Have to be careful with that one. And he makes a free throw. In and out of seven little scores. It's getting closer and closer. Five points for Hart. Robinson. Now Okoro's on Barrett. Mitchell on Hart. Takes it past to Garland. Just six to shoot. In the middle. Over again. And almost been rejected. Trying to take it away. And Mobley will use a glass to take the reverse scoop here for the reversible layup. Right towards the twer turnaround section. Now turning to be up ahead. Randall on the outside by Hart. Hart swings up across here to Julius Randall. Brunson on the outside. 
Here's free for Barrett. I'll never miss by New York. Oh, they're missing three many pointers out there. They should never happen again. That really has to happen most players. They're missing three pointers. They can't lose it. And that was a great mobile one drive for the Cavs. Donovan Mitchell and making another great passing and a great layup drive. Yeah, that's very that unaggressive out there. They have to start regaining again. And it was just that hard to try to pull it inbound and try to stop the player to go with the reach. Right now the foul's been called on Donovan Mitchell. And a substitution made as right now New York Knicks. Green Grimms with the game. Over on the other player. What a play for Hardenstein. He made a block on Wade. There you go, that's one block. That's because you know that Hardenstein really has it. Rather than Mitchell Robinson or Julius Randle. That's a hard one that you're going to get. And that's when you play for a great shot. Here's Barrett. The try scoops in good. Barrett's got seven points in the game. Right now, one point behind Okura. Mitchell fighting over Mobley over to Okura. Now, pass to Allen over Robinson. In and out. And Robinson will receive his second rebound of the game. Robinson. Barrett on the outside. Now inside, Randall. Around Mobley. And a two point score for Randall. He's got a second bucket of the night. They're down by five. Here's Mitchell. Scoring again. Here's Garland finding Okoro. Okoro trying to make a pass over to Mitchell. 2 3 left to go in the third period. Now find Garland. The pass. The stop made by Brunson. That's number two for Brunson with the rebound. Yeah, the battle rebounding was not that early possession. I don't think this shouldn't be happening again with the foul call because he got it clean. The earlier part really has to keep on coming. They do. The same thing that really has to happen. Most parts. Not otherwise. Every rebound for Randall. Now swing over to Grimms. Over Robinson. Again to Barrett. With a driving scoop. Oh, that was hard. That contact shot was very that and painful look. They should never see that one going again. They can't be losing it. Mitchell inside. This shot from Floater's good for Mitchell. Never timeout call by New York Knicks with a minute and 43 to go. 37 to 30, they're trailing by seven. We'll get this one right away when we come back after this. This is the part of the game of the Eastern Conference. You're watching the 2K Sports of the NBA Playoffs. The NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by State Farm. Call and get a free quote today at 1-800-STATE-FARM. American Express. Don't live life without it. And by Mountain Dew. Do to do. And attention all in anime, in anime and society fans, right now the tickets are on sale right now as right at this moment as we are bringing things on with a couple of the games and this one better than this game, the show is also happening. Meet your favorite characters and creators here from the department from BFDI and in anime and society. And you can get a quick pictures to have your favorite part of the characters in the, in the show. And you will be seeing things right along the way. The first one will be the Saban Media Center here at Los Angeles, California. You can get your tickets now here on June. And if those of you who are in New York, like this one, you have another show coming up here with a second location here for the first time here for, for a part of the experience. If you're able to check out the one part of the show, Go ahead and check this one out here at Gerald W. Lynch Theater. This will be happening here on July. That's the next part of a month that will be happening here in New York. So get your tickets now at inanimatesanity.com slash tickets. And you can be the next one in. Rubio with a two. That shot's good. A number two pointer catches in for Cleveland. And Rubio has four. That part of the shot is really that turning out to be a very tremendous run. It should never happen like that. 
Hard inside, right towards the outside of the game. Now swing it over again. Here's Grims. And Rose for the three. Three pointers off the mark as Osman with the rebound. They're shooting too much right now. They have to settle down with the scores to try to go with the offensive runs of the game attackers. They should never do this one again. If that happens to us, you're never going to try to like go with a better, better player than going with the breakdown score. Levert for three. Off the target angle. Quickly, right towards the outside. Tries to give a direct no pass to Grimms. And one. Rose for the buzz beater. Kiss is the footer in. Wow. Derek Rose makes a three pointer. Oh, yeah. That's what three pointers do. The buzz beater in the game. You call that? You can feel the energy. No quit in New York. And we have end of mark in the third quarter. 39 to 35. We'll be right back after this. 39. And I'm moving now to reveal the State Farm Assist of a game. And you see, you know the precision. The most of it players have were turning out to be just like that. And you see, the alley oop right towards the Isaac of Coral was a very hard one to heal it. That better play is a better tremendable run. They really have a hard one to try to maintain with the scores. And if you're looking for anybody else for the open pass, I mean, don't be don't be mindful. Just get over us. You're trying to get, keep that one over to make that one stop. Well, as it remains said right now, if you're into the fourth quarter, we glad we welcome you back to you at the Garden. We close things off here for the fourth quarter of the players. News on the courtesy of the lineups are our being here. Donovan Mitchell on right now to Josh Hart. Bennett's Randall coming up here by Evan Mobley. Hardenstein is on Ju on Darius Garland. Randall is on is on the air player Jared Allen. Hart is on Mitchell. And finally, quickly, on the other player of again. And a region foul falls on Darius Garland. His second first goal on the team foul from Cleveland. They have to stop reaching it again because this is very not hard. The better transition is not going to be happening like that again. Isaiah Coro checked in for Karis LeVert. Mitchell Robinson coming in for Hardenstein. And Jalen Brunson is also checked in for AZA quickly. The drive scoops in and the foul pulls on with a full personal on Jared Allen. Well, this is very unfair with aggressiveness. They're just trying to like, you know what? At effort. They just really have no lower patience to try to go with the block or attack. Mitchell Robinson. Has never made that score, only one free throw has made. But hopefully in game four, we'll be clear. Yeah, we'll have to see what Mitchell Robinson has. First free throw off the mark. Yeah, and you know that Mitchell Robinson wasn't able to do that well. That part of the drive is not very that hard for look. Then you're going to get this thing done. Well, that's very the tough. Mitchell Robinson really has to give this one a, what a right perspective motion. It's very difficult. Can't lose that on your own. The second free throw, no good for Mitchell Robinson. He missed two free throws in the last game here, and right now we'll have to see if he gets this thing done. Mitchell, climbing Garland on the outside with five minutes to go in the fourth period. And the Knicks nearly needed to get this one back. Five on the shot clock. Coro, shot no good. Julius Randle with this fourth rebound of the game. And Barrett on the outside. Barrett swings off to Randle. Watson going to take the three. And a three-pointer no good for New York. They're out of here. They get nowhere to find a possession to find an open look. The shot angle is not very not imprecise enough. They've got to start to figure this out again. Mobley on the outside. And he's some out of bounds. Great play with the fate of Mitchell Robinson. And cut him by the toe. Oh, yeah. That's definitely what you call it. Catch it by a titty toe. Runs it. Finding over Mitchell Robinson. Now swings off him at RJ Barrett. Oh, wow. Now it's a floater, no good. 
Now losing too many focus out there. Yeah, this is very that hard. It's not very good. They have to start getting this game done. They can't lose it again. Great D on Julius Randall. Robinson swings out to Josh Hart. Hart with the screen, giving a pass. Back to Brunson. RJ Barrett at the outside. Shoots it from the elbow. Oh, gets denied by Evan Mobley. That blocker was out there. He's trying to deflect it. Cannot slow him down. And a shot made for Darius Garland. Right now it's a 43-35 timeout, New York. Oh man, it's, it's gonna be a tight series run of the game happen. I think there might be a switch back. Right now, as right now, we have we have 333 left to go. For the next game, we will have the next one for the Nuggets and the Timberwolves at Target Center. And the next part of the game will be happening here at the Lakers and against the Memphis Grizzlies as Kevin Harlan will be standing by along the court side. As you may notice, this may be a change off that could be happening now. And you just don't want to feel like you're out of here for your life. This really has to happen for most of the part of the game that was really interesting. It's not very really competitive, and you just gotta stay focused in the game. You can't just try to like go with the reach and that part of the foul. That's what you can't just do. The new groups are coming in for the Knicks and the Cavaliers. Right now, as this one comes in, Barali the Force, he did talk to one of the players on the outside of the players. And we know that Jalen Brunson was out there for one of his game right around Donovan Mitchell. This part of the moment was really too hard to make and the game will come right towards the end of the line. But he was never done. His approving was all of his ability to try to stick to the runner that you're guarding to. The guarding of this man is not very that successful. It's ranging, it's very that to penetrate, and they really have to start focusing. With that pressure reminding you to keep your eyes on there, they know that Donovan Mitchell was getting there close, but this team can never slow down. They really have to start going with another look. Mitchell, the three-pointer, put back in. Oh, it stopped again. Julius Randle swings it past the Barrett. Coming out of the run. Hart on the outside. Now swings over again to Hart. Around Mitchell. Gets a tough shot, but it's missed. Oh, that hard one has not really been impressing him too well. Mitchell. Three players off the mark. He misses one again. Robinson towards the outside of the wing. Now swinging over again to Barrett. 215 left to go, but they still have more time. Bounce pass. Up to Rando. Rando swings to Hart. Five on the shot clock. Around again. The try is good. Josh Hart. The down by two. With seven points in the game. And now there's under two minutes to go in the fourth period of the game. Isaac Coro finding over again to Dallas Mitchell over again. Mitchell. Trying to survey the floor. Allen on Robinson. Just fine to shoot. For the two. Cuts it over with the two. And Allen with the assist. And Allen is putting him a better of driving. This motion is very good. Trying to make it serious. Brunson finding hard. To the middle. On that miss by New York. They're just doing it too much of a contact scores. It seems like it's not going to happen like that. They just can't believe it. And Mitchell scores with a drive. They are getting away with it. They are escaping and ready to head back to game five. There it runs it. Finds Hart. Takes a three. And they get it back. Garland batting the other way. Passes off to Mitchell. Try to watch it from here. With a move around and foul called on R.J. Barrett. His second personal and a first team foul calls on New York. The fans are not happy because of what they've done. Donovan Mitchell was out there trying to make a drive out of it. He was trying to defend on him. He was going to try to block it. But R.J. Barrett, he lost that ball. The moment was being too much. 
and that release man can't just go with the flow. That was hard enough for him, and with that one, the bear situation. Free throw coming up for Donovan Mitchell. Right now, the Empire are trying to make it louder. Mitchell gets the first free throw. Yeah, Donovan Mitchell was very that strong. I mean, your team, you're just going to have to tie it up. Go to back to back switch. And a free throw will send in for Donovan Mitchell. New York trailing by eight. New York's heart on a wing. Brunson, the outsider floater. And it's missed again. Donovan Mitchell towards the airway. We'll have to give a pass to Okora. Try to go with the deflection. Mullet. Back to Mitchell over again to Okora. Garland for three. And three pointer sets in down. Nine and a run. A uh, one minute and ten. Now Barrett. The outside. Who's in? Oh, slammed it. That's a perfect play in action. How can you say that RJ Barrett was high flyer? You say but this part of a player was just a moment ago. I just don't think that he was gonna get there. And that was an excellent slam dunk for RJ Barrett. A replay presented by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And Jared Allen will scoop it in. Now their team is looking for a tying series of the game to go back to Cleveland. Barrett, and he does it again. Now this time towards the right. And he will have to make the intentional foul call over Jalen Brunson. Right now at the free throw line is putting up another percentage here and that is it. 8.9 seconds to go. Now Darius Garland at the free throw line with two shots. They're just out of it. They never really saw that one going. He makes the first free throw. Only one more substitution made for the Cavs and for the Knicks. Three players are checked out and three players checked in as Robin Lopez and Stevens are checked in. The Knicks are also making new changes as the final group players are checked out. Sims, Fournier, and McBride are checked in. He gets his second free throw. Another timeout call by New York Knicks with 8.9 seconds to go. It's 56-45. As right now, this was the point of a game that everyone was going for. They just really can't believe it. Yeah, it all has to be happening down because everyone was going crazy everywhere. A lot of fan packed, and they say they cannot believe it. Present the New Balance player of the game, Darius Garland. Darius Garland was able to do with his passing aggressiveness. Very good concentrate with the player. A lot of assistance has been up under the intentional run of the work. I like that hustle. And the most inbounding was very that tough. Here's Brunson on the outside, and now Sims will carry the three, but it hits off the rim. And so the Cavaliers wins the game. There it is. Your final score is 56 to 45 for the game four of the game. The Cavaliers are tied in series for two. Right now, as for this being said, this has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs of the Eastern Conference. We'll be back with game five for the next part of the game. And thank you for watching. This is Mifo, along with Nickel and OJ. Have a great night in the Big Apple of New York. Now off to Test 2 for the Post Game Show. All for you. Mephone, thanks. As thank you so much for right now. We really appreciate you all with the part of the game that's happening here. Better part.
So, as of right now, the Cavaliers have already tied this series up, and right now they've won against the New York Knicks here in Game 4. This is the battle of the battle there, folks, and you know, mm -hmm, this is very that tough one that everybody is receiving here for the part of the game that we all have to count on for. The Cavaliers are just pushing P. That's the strongest move on offense that they have played. Here's how they did with the total statistic runs of the game. Right now with only 50% for the field goals. 44% here for the free pointers. 100% for the free throws for the Cavaliers with 11 fast break points. 36 points in paint was for the New York Knicks. 4 for the second chance points. Bench points was 13 for the Knicks. And 19 with offensive rebounds for 4. Very hard to be penetrated. To go with the game and in a setup. Then 23 defensive rebounds. Then two steals and blocks. Three and four turnovers with the points off. And 14 fouls for the New York Knicks. This happens to be only five dunks here performed for the New York Knicks. The biggest lead was 15 and 12-19 was a time of possession for the New York Knicks. Only two timeouts were recalled for Cleveland Cavaliers. Now time for your three star players of the game as we start up with number three. The first third player of the game goes to R.J. Barrett. With 11 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists, and only made a couple 3 dunks of the game. Every angle of the move was a very hard one to try to maintain. Very well done for R.J. Barrett. I mean, very good job on that one. Really well done. The second star of the player goes out to with another one. This goes to Darius Garland. He has got 4 assists of the game. 9 points in the game with 2 rebounds and only had 18 performance run. Well played here for Darius Garland, and looking for his run to take the lead in game number 5. And your first star player of the game. The new balance player of the game was Darius Garland. Excuse me, Darius Garland. And right now, this part of the game is happening here, and we all have to go for is Donovan Mitchell. He has 18 points, 4 rebounds, and 2 assists of the game. 23 performance run. That is crazy. And you know, this part of the game, you can't just stop on Donovan Mitchell. He is a hard floater. Just really can't believe it how he is going to take over. For the next part of the game, you will see the Lakers and the Grizzlies after the game of the Nuggets and the Wolves at Target Center. For the next commentary right now, as I will have the next one coming over, we'll see how this one goes. For the next player, and it's very aggressive to maintain of what they're going for. Paintbrush and Silver Spoon. And across on the other side will be Kevin Harlan along with the crew. Son of Beast will be in the, in the uh, part of the game that will continue here for the part of the night. And as right now, thank you all for watching and tune in for the next part of the game. And Stanley Cup playoffs, I hope you will get there very soon. We'll keep an eye on this, guys. So stay, so stay tight. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports style. This is Test Tube. Science gal rules. That's me. And I'll see you all again next time. Yep, and as for being for a while, as for the next part of the game in Game 4. So, be ready for the Timberwolves and Nuggets. It's coming up next after this. We'll get you tight here, and then we'll get ready. So long for now, in New York. If you don't... Somebody will.